There's a moment in the film where I just wanted Sam Jackson to be like, You are a Tarzan, motherfucker. Get back to the jungle and do what you do best, son. Don't make me ask you again. Something just, you know, that relates to Samuel Jackson. <laughs> The Legend of Tarzan is the latest film in David Yates, who I know him f so well, if you guys know him so well, from, you know, the Harry Potter films. Those Harry Potter films are films I grew up with. He did the last half of those films, the last four movies, some of the best. He He's a guy that just shepherded that franchise into what it was, and it ended so well. He did so well with the characters in that. And then now this is his first film in a long time. Now, he, now he's directing Tarzan. And just looking at how it was, it felt like, you know, a Harry Potter world that had, like, Tarzan. It really felt like a David Yates film when I was seeing this movie throughout. There was, like, elements of, like, what Harry Potter had with, like, you know, the atmosphere. And just having stuff in the film, you know, objects or things. It really just, you know, reminded me of, you know, how... How a great job David Yates was with the Harry Potter films, and you can see so much in this film. The character Tarzan itself, he was pretty good. Alexander Skarsgård, I can't help to think he looks so much like his father, and even sounds like him. But he did a good job playing Tarzan also, you know. He was a character I, I rooted for, you know, I cared about this journey, you know. I, for once, did not give a damn about him. He was good throughout, he was charismatic at times. Um, he kicked his ass when he needed it to. And he was lovable and he was friendly. Margot Robbie, my goodness, that woman is so hot. She is good for what she's given for, you know. She has given a little backstory to with, like Tarzan, but not too much with Jane. And she served sort of as a plot for Tarzan. Samuel Jackson, he's so freaking hilarious, though. I loved him in this film. And, you know, he's always playing Samuel Jackson. In this one, he actually plays a character, but he was so hilarious. And I just love seeing him every time. He stole the show for me. And I just love how you counter off you know, Tarzan and just how this universe works with Tarzan. And then that's where some of the parts, I think, for me, you know, are my criticisms. I didn't want this movie to be fun, okay? And that's just like, oh, just make it a little bit light. You know, it was too down and gloomy. No, I wanted it to be fun in a way because the exposition of where we needed to go at times felt boring or, you know, bland and I didn't care but I cared seeing the scenes just like how Tarzan you know was jumping off clips and whatnot those were exciting and it felt very Tarzan but I really wanted more of comedic turns and sometimes Tarzan and Samuel Jackson's character they 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 just their chemistry is so good when they make jokes and whatnot I wanted just a little bit more like just let me have a fun little ride as we're going through our exposition and Samuel Jackson had that I just wish I saw more of it in the film. For me, the second half was more superior to the first half. I felt like all this budget and all the film, you know, what it was going for, it really was pushing for the second half. And I can see also this where David H. shines because this is his type of action that he gives. And I saw it in the second. I love the first half, but I wanted just to, you know, care more, have fun more with the film. But the tone of the film didn't need to change. It was perfect how it was. Just, you know, just make me feel some kind of excitement. And I felt like it just dragged a little bit. Christoph Waltz. He's a terrific actor. He is so good in Glorious Bastards and Django and Shade. I know he's a great actor. But in all the films he's done post-Tarantino. And during the Tarantino era when he's not doing his films. He's just playing the same character. Where he's like this calm, kind of smiley guy. Where he won't lose his shit and he's playing it well and I have fun watching him but he's playing the same thing and I just want him someone outside of Tarantino to give him a push to show that you know he's not just good with Tarantino because he is a great actor before Tarantino after he's just good it's just they're not pushing him well and he I thought was very one dimensional or you know he had a generic like routine of a motive as what he was doing here like of a villain and i'm like really that's all um and you know david Yates worked well with voldemort i wanted to see him work well with, with christoph waltz 
and then the person he was leading for, you know, who he had to get stuff for, um, he was very underused and really, you know, we couldn't really not, not do with him and try to not have too, um, as much as many characters. And at the end, it's just like, oh, it's whatever. And I'm like, okay, we worked that much just so they could end like that. So those things I didn't like. But action sequences, when there are in there, they're good. The characters, the main ones, the protagonist and then Samuel Jackson, they're they're great, they're lovable, and they're funny. And overall, this film had potential. It was a little bit underwhelming. I did not hate the movie at all. But, you know, I just wanted a little bit more enjoyment out of it. I'm going to have to give The Legend of Tarzan a C+. Plus. Let me know, guys, if you guys liked the movie, if you guys hated the movie. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.